Good evening, everybody. Hope you're doing all right. So, we have the abnormal barders to do. Yes, indeed. All of these skins today are abnormal, except the MP5. That is just a regular skin. So, if you're a little bit confused, what's an abnormal skin, you're probably going to sit there and say, well, quickly, just look in the description right now. Look down and look in the description. You will see I provided two videos to you. The first video is a 60-second short video, which will very briefly, quickly explain what abnormals are. But if it's not enough... I would consider watching the second video, which is about 20 minutes long, but it goes a lot more in-depth. So just to give you a very quick brief summary, abnormal skins are skins that become marketable before the rust door even rotates. And we know for a fact all of these skins, except the MP5, is, a, is abnormal, and that means we're going to be able to buy order them the very second they become marketable. And by doing a very quick buy order, potentially we could have a very good buy order uh, priority, buy these skins for a much cheaper price and sell them for their actual prices and walk away with some sweet delicious profits as simple as that so the two videos in the description will help you out and you can just watch us as we yap about figuring out prices and do the actual barders later on so you can look in the description again to look at the chapters and you can just skip ahead straight to the buy orders and you'll just see how quick it is and yeah that's it it's as simple as that so let's jump in now let's start figuring out prices because there's some questionable things Let's start talking about the likes of the Neon Small Med Storage. That has done over 50,000 subscribers, but we anticipated that. So just to give you the uh, proper definitive amount, as I scroll down over to here, it's done 50,069. Nice. So, is that a big problem for it? Well, all we need to do is take a look at the previous Neon Storage skin to be accepted. Last week's Food Storage, right? So, uh, why do I not sound very happy to bring that up? We'll just take a look at its listings right now. On average, on the Steam market, every Rust skin has around 100 quantity, and that has 515. What? <laughs> now, if we actually look at the listings, you can see for yourself that it's just not looking very good. People are now selling these at a loss, and they're selling them in big, fat stacks, big, big resistance. Now, this was expected after I talked about it quite literally a few days ago, and now I am sitting here very concerned about the med storage only the fuel seems to be doing all right that was the first storage we had accepted out of the small boxes and as of now it's still kind of sitting at around 250 three dollars every new uh, small box we saw being accepted it caused this to have a bit of a boost which was nice to see but it's very weird how this sold more than the food storage and yet this is still ridiculously having tons of listings and yeah so obviously a lot of people looking at these small boxes now and assuming it's just a nice quick flip profit too many people are buying these in excess with the pure intent to sell them very quickly and unfortunately they're now competing with each other and unfortunately that's going to have consequences so this is now already going below or steering towards going below its rust or price every listing they put down now is going to be a loss and unfortunately, these buy orders are going to probably look very appealing to dump onto at some point. Once that starts happening, that's when it gets really bad. So, point trying to get across with the likes of this video here, I come to the resolution that once we reach around October time, all of these neon storages very likely will be going down to around a dollar, potentially. Right? Consider watching this video to get a much more in-depth understanding in regards to what the expectations are, but unfortunately, it ain't looking pretty. So, with what we see here, potentially could be much worse with the med storage because it sold, well, 20% more, an extra 10,000. And again, subscriber counts aren't definitive to a point like, we know with subscriber counts, at the very least, 50,000 individual people have bought that skin. We just don't know how many they bought each. Maybe one, you know, maybe a lot of people only bought one for themselves. That's fine. But maybe some people bought 10. 50, 100, even a 1,000. There's a lot of people who very likely bought that with a pure intent to sell, the people who bought an excess, and the people who will be unloading these onto the Steam markets and the third party, all right? Third parties. So, uh, unfortunately, I'm looking at this with a lot of concern. And to give you a very nice, straightforward answer, do not be surprised if you could end up picking these up for a cheaper price in just a few months' time. This will very likely go below its rust oil price, even if we keep getting more of these being accepted, well, they probably do a good enough job retaining their value, but it's around September, October, November, the autumn fall seasonal dip. That is where I think things are going to get real bad. But it won't last forever. Of course, we've been through this with many instances with the likes of our large boxes here. Remember, these have been out for three years. This took time for them to reach up to these prices. And again, 
Even during bad times, during dips, they do still go down in price. But during good times, such as the summer, they're going up in price. It's very nice. This positivity ain't going to last forever. And yeah, you have to be prepared for such a thing. So with these buy orders, with that in particular, I think I'm going to probably do 90 cents and $1.20. I have two accounts that do buy orders. I'm looking at this and thinking, okay, if it gets real close... I'll just remove my stronger buy order and then I'll stick with the 90 cents one. I might actually do a dollar. We'll see. But I really do think this is going to potentially reach down to a dollar at some point, along with the food. I'm not 100% sure on fuel, but everything that follows from here and now, I'd, I would expect the same. All right. Now, that's just an expectation. It's not definitive. But based on the behavior we're currently seeing, it wouldn't surprise me. OK, so just get a good look at that. Start guessing how meds is going to look. But hang on a minute, maybe meds is going to be a little bit more in demand compared to food. Okay, I'm not going to question that, but still, it feels like we have far too many that have been bought. And with the expectation that we're going to have less people playing in just a few months' time, again, look at the stark difference between July's average player count and then October's. It's like a third of the people disappeared. Well, it's the kids. They've got summer vacation right now. And then, you know, around September time, they've got to go back to school. <laughs> so less people playing, less demand for skins, lower skin prices. A very straightforward formula. So with that, yeah, 90 cents to $1. Uh, 90 cents to one dollar twenty. Sorry, sorry. But $1 probably is going to be the perfect spot, potentially. So it's up to you what you do with that. But that's my very straightforward answer there. So let's move on to the likes of the tempered sheet metal double door. Guys, I have to warn you, a lot of sheet metal double doors have been submitted this past weekend including from Milho Frito, which is quite weird. So if I quickly go over to here, yep, if I could just quickly refresh, that's updated, very nice. All of these are sheet metal double doors. Where are they? Where are they? And here we are. There we go. Right. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. Yep. So let's just quickly go through these real quickly. Do you believe in the future one of these will be accepted? We have the Dragon Gate Garage Door, uh, uh, Double Door, sorry, sorry. I, I was reminded of the Neon Dragon Garage Door. It's not a continuation of that. It's a different skin crater, just to clarify. So we have this. We have this very cool looking design here. We have Cat Cafe. Do you like cats in your soup? Oh, yes, delicious cats. Um, then we got the likes of the comics. We got the likes of Karaoke, which is a continuation of the Ramen Shop Garage Door. I wouldn't say no. I get the feeling that maybe one of them will probably be accepted in the future. And that unfortunately means more potential problems for our investments, especially with the likes of the double doors. This is $3. And of course, don't forget right now, we also have the likes of the Balaam Sheep Metal Double Door that's being given away for free. I think this is perfectly fine for the sales that it's reached. It's done just less than 20,000 subs. I believe in the future... This tempered sheet metal double door will probably end up exactly like the previous doors, where gradually as time goes on, it gets appreciated. It'll just r slowly rise up in price regardless. So hopefully this loads up. There we go. Yeah. Garage door right now, sitting at just around $13. The sheet metal door comfortably sitting just under $7. That right there, it hasn't sold an absurd amount. It's done fairly reasonable. Chances are with the arrival of the Bellum sheet metal double door, it probably caused this to slow down a fair bit. Maybe. I mean, it was selling quite all right for the first two days. But anyway, I think it'll be OK, but it'll be something that will work out nicely in the future. And I wouldn't be surprised if we do see some more sheet metal doors being accepted. So my approach to this is I think I'm going to probably do. I think I'm going to do $1.50 to $2.30. I don't want to get too close to it. I believe once we reach around the, the autumn fall seasonal dip, this very likely will be dipping below its rust door price. I don't think it'll go that low, but I wouldn't be surprised if it does go below its rustle price at some point. So something around, let's say, $1.50 uh, $1 to $2.30 would probably be the way to go. Yeah, so that's how I'm going to approach it. And I will also sit here and say this. Sheet metal double doors in the future, I'm pretty sure they're going to still be all right when times are good again. It's just I fully well know, and I've seen it all before. When we go through the bad times, they go down bad, and you will see quite a lot of these in the negative. And if we keep seeing more and more options, it's not going to help them all out. So it is what it is. Wow, that's actually started to go below $4 now. Well, there you go, because we keep getting more. That's the problem. Too many options causes problems. So that, let's move on to the next skin. We have the likes of Junkernaut Sheet Metal, uh, sheet metal Single Door. 
This has only done about 15,000 subscribers. By tomorrow, it'll be close to 15,000 subscribers. And the main point I had was, yes, it's a very cool-looking sheet metal door that has transparency and glow-in-the-dark, which I'm sure a lot of people would appreciate. But in comparison to the likes of the bombshell sheet metal door and the brutalist sheet metal door, the other two have a lot more glow and they have a lot more visibility with their transparency. Plus, we could quickly go take a look at them right now and see how they're currently holding up. Because the main point I was trying to get across with them is that... When we went through a bad time, aka the recent Easter dip, they went and halved in price and went even lower. So as so I scroll down over to here, yep, Bombshell's currently sitting up a little bit above its Rustle price, same as the Bruce Lee Sheep Menador, but both of them did dip down in price very hard during the likes of a dip, and we are expecting the worst dip to happen in just a few months' time. So just look at the prices, it go, it comes out, it go down, 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 stops here at around $1.40, goes back up, 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 up. This is currently selling for $3. Just a couple months back, it was selling for less than half that. And then over to here, the likes of the Bruce Cliffs, currently sitting here at just over $4, and pretty much the exact same thing. If you look at its sales history, there you go, dips down very bad into March. At one point, that's selling for about $1.80. But then, of course, it did recover. So keep that in mind. If these ended up doing that, you're probably going to see the Junkernaut do the exact same thing. And I get the feeling Junkernaut probably won't be appreciated as much unless we do see more Junkernaut deplorables. So we didn't see a submission from him this past week in regards to Junkernaut. But did anybody ask him? That's the next main question. Did anybody sit here and say, hey, you're going to make another deplorable? And I can't, I can't, I can't read that. So... <laughs> We'll just have to wait and see. I think we'll probably be seeing something. Like, hey, don't be surprised if we see like a double door or something. That'd be easy to do. Just double it and then ta-da. <laughs> so yeah, maybe we'll see some more. And if we do, maybe it might help it out. But looking at the state of this, I think I'm probably just going to stick with doing $1 to $1.50. You know what? I'll pull it back a little bit more. I'll probably go $0.80 cents to $1.30. Yeah, $0.80 cents to $1.30 will be my answer. So that's how I'm going to approach that. Moving on to the likes of the Ice Tools, the Ice Eye Tools to be precise. Well, with the likes of these two skins, they've sold pretty nicely. The Hatchet has sold a thousand more compared to the Pickaxe, uh, more specifically the uh, subscriber count. So more people like the uh, Hatchet, most likely due to the very cool transparency that it has. Ooh, yeah. Now, here's the next question. Did anybody ask to identify, are we going to see, uh, well, there you go. Hey, this is awesome set. I love it. Will you make a jackhammer or something? Yeah. Are we going to see more of this set? That's the main question. But as you could see, they didn't respond and nobody even asked on this one. So I don't fully know what could happen next, but so far we have the tools and we have the salvage sword. Now, at one point, this went down to around a dollar. With these appearing, it improved a fair bit. But I'm still under the impression both of these tools are going to go below their rustle price. We had this discussion where we looked at all the hatchet skins from like the past two years, get a good look at that, and you'll see the vast majority of them are in the negative, unfortunately. If it loads, there you go. Pixel Decay is kind of special because it's sold for 99 cents instead of $1.99, so we can't really count that one. But yeah, just barely over a dollar, literally a dollar, just barely over a dollar, just barely over a dollar, slightly over a dollar, literally almost a dollar, just barely over a dollar, yeah, yeah, and then you've got Wasteland, I believe that's currently getting pumped at the moment, so unfortunately, yeah, the vast majority of hatchet, hatchet skins didn't fare very well, and then we've got the likes of the pickaxe skins, and it's pretty much the same thing, but these are bright blue and icy, they're unique, they're interesting, do you reckon they'll fare a little bit better? I'm under the impression that that very likely might be happening, so for what I'm going to offer, is I'm going to do 80 cents to $1.30, I think they're going to probably end up at around $1.50 at some point. They will be going below the rest of the price. They will be going below the rest of the price. I lost my tongue there. <laughs> I am under the impression that they're likely going to go below the rest of the price. How low will it be? Not 100% sure, but I feel like doing 80 cents to $1.30 should be perfectly fine, perfectly reasonable. So yeah, uh, you offer more, you're more likely to pick these up, but if they get cheap, you're going to get dumped on. So that's always the warning. So if you just want to play it safe, stick to around and less than a dollar. Okay, cool. All right, so moving on. Watcher of Doom Large Box. Did we see a collection continuation appear this past weekend? And the answer is no. No, we did not. So not sure what's going on there. What about you, Alloy? Did you make anything? Let's just quickly remind myself. And the answer is no. So they're probably waiting on an idea for a while. Okay, that's fine. Let them cook. Let them think of something new to, you know, you know, put a big eye on. <laughs> maybe a furnace, maybe a rug, maybe a water purifier. Who knows? But so as long as we keep seeing more deplorables being produced, that's fine. I'm looking forward to it. But we haven't got anything immediately. 
maybe this large box might not fare very well. It sold okay, it did 11,600 subscribers, and a little bit more compared to that clan base, which of course was the previous week. How's that currently holding up? The answer is, did it, did it, did it, did it. It's, it's not loading. SMM seems to be kind of slow at the moment, which is quite unfortunate. But I will sit here and say, by default, I'm not exactly feeling super confident. All right, instead of doing that, I could probably look for them here. Large box. Will you work for me? Please. 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 Doesn't want to work. <laughs> well, this certainly is awkward. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Well, then, um, I'm in a bit of an awkward spot. But no worries. Basically, looking at this large box, I'm sitting here and assuming that, well... If we don't have any new skins in sight, maybe it might end up going below its roster price. And I'll be honest with you, I was going to be thinking of that regardless. So I'm sitting here and I'm looking at this and I'm thinking I probably only want to do maybe 80 cents to $1.20. Yep. Uh, a little bit less and around half its price. It might be looking to be doing perfectly fine for a while, but I still don't have a lot of faith in it. All right, it seems we're working now. So if I click this again, I think we'll see it all load up. Because, yeah. We're in the summer right now. Lots of skins are doing better, which is nice to see. Even the Easter skin, so that's cool. But with a recent skin, such as this clan-based large box, already hard, it's already gone down by a third. That ain't pretty, is it? So, yeah. That very likely could be the same thing that happens to this. So I'm thinking, you know what? I just want to stick with doing maybe like 80 cents to $1.20. That's my answer. That's what I'll be rolling with. Sounds good? Right. Moving on, here we have the likes of Chameleon Tier 2, and this has actually sold fairly reasonably. Looking at the state of them, don't be surprised to see the road sign Kilt has sold more compared to these two. Remember, Kilt is like the most valuable bit out of Tier 2. You can use it with both the Tier 3 armor and, of course, this Tier 2 armor. But when you compare it to the rest of the Chameleon set, more specifically the clothing and the Tier 3, well, that only did just about 9,300 subscribers, and these did about 13,000 subscribers. All of this, on average, has done what's well, very likely going to reach up to about 11,000 so yeah that seems to be smack dab in the middle that's fine that's totally fine I do lean more towards the kilt performing better as time goes on that typically does happen most times with it uh, or uh, usually with the likes of a full set okay but what are you gonna offer here's the question chat I ask you sincerely get ready to offer an opinion and YouTube if you so wish do you believe chameleon set will remain to be a very nice in-demand set in the future I'm not 100% convinced. I'm not sure if everybody wants to be shiny. You might want to be the green Power Ranger, but do you want to be shiny as well? Probably not. And it's not exactly fully green, is it? It's also purple. It's holographic. It's a cool looking set. I'll give it that. Milho Frito made a lovely looking set here, but I'm, I'm conflicted. Yes, the prices are doing very nice right now because, of course, we literally just had Tier 2 appear. But uh, specifically... For these tier 2 pieces, it's not exactly the lowest selling uh, skins in all of this. But it's not exactly the most. In the future, as time goes on, I do expect the likes of the tier 3 armor to probably become the cheapest. There's more of it. Whereas with the likes of this, not as bad. And the Hoodie and Pants, oh, they're super happy. But yeah, um, I think the masks are ugly and ruin the set for me. Jacko Lantern looking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that is mean. But I uh, I think I can get what you say. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, I mean, I've got to look at the coffee can as well. I, oh, now you've ruined it for me. How could you? Okay, but anyway. Um, when, we did, when we didn't see the Tier 2 being submitted or accepted for a fairly decent amount of time... We did see the likes of Tier 3 and Hoodie and Pants drop off a fair bit. So, I'm looking at this. I'm standing by with the kilt being something that's going to be more in demand. I worry for these two. For these two, I'm probably doing 80 cents to twenty, uh, eighty cents to $1.20. And for the likes of the kilt, I'm probably doing $1 to $1.50. I can imagine that will fare better. I imagine these will be a little bit cheaper. That's how I'm going to go about it. But the main thing that we want to hope for is that this remains fairly in demand. Because if it isn't, problems. Problems. And just to remind you, with the likes of this tier 3 armor, this has been around the longest, of course. Right now, there's only 33 listings of this. It's currently sitting there at $2. Look what happened. It did drop off a fair bit. But then, of course, we did like more things. 
But I ended up buying a whole bunch of these for like a dollar a dollar fifty, let's go with that, dollar fifty, yep, that happens. And then over to here with the likes of this chest plate, very similar in terms of not that many listings, but even then, it's a bit weird. So Will we see things just as bad with the tier 2? I don't really think so, but I'm still fair a bit cautious, so yeah. If you want to play it safer, offer less. If you feel strong, if you feel more confident with it, by all means, cool, offer some more. The only things I can really see it helping this out, so of course we've got all the core pieces and whatnot, but we don't have the boots. Boots could appear and probably give this a nice bump. Like we had that happen literally about two weeks ago. We had the likes of the Abyss boots finally being accepted. And with that appearing, we did see a few of these skins actually rise up in price quite nicely. Initially, that was happening regardless because it was the summer. But it definitely kind of like, you know, gave it a bit more of a push. We saw this going all the way up to $4 at one point. Anyway, yeah, we'll have to be optimistic for something like that. Maybe in the future, we'll probably see like a jacket. Okay. I wouldn't say no to it, but cool, we have had a lot of jackets so far this year already, so we'll see, we'll see. Looking at this, I probably will lean more to playing it safer because I'm not 100% convinced it's going to be A-OK. -okay. And, uh, sorry, <sighs> I yawned, sorry about that. There's another thing I could bring up, and that's the uh, Tempered Collection. I remember this performing very nicely during the good times in the past, but recently... It just isn't doing that good anymore. The other tier two pieces not really holding up very nicely. The hoodie and the pants not exactly really holding up super great. Yeah, yeah, the pants are doing better, but yeah. This used to be fairly pricey. Like, I remember at one point this was something like $7, a little bit more. I do remember something like that. And these were doing better. But yeah, I guess people just don't care for it that much anymore. And we don't bother with the chest plate because that got accepted a lot later compared to the face mask and <laughs> far too many of them got bought so with that yeah you're probably better off playing it safer then so that's my yapping session done with those skins that were uh, that were uh, that are abnormal we also have the likes of the mk ultra mp5 this will become marketable tomorrow and i can point this out to you we do have a mk ultra thompson that was submitted this past weekend but there is a bit of a coincidence there is also a Sweet Dreams Thompson that I submitted this past weekend. <laughs> but we might see them compete with each other, but Sweet Dreams has a whole bunch of other skins that are submitted fairly recently. MK Ultra has the likes of the LR300. So I think, you know what? Maybe it won't be so bad. Maybe one of them gets the Thompson potentially this week or next week, and then the other week it'll have something else. And of course, the other thing would probably have a different skin and blah, 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 blah. You get the idea. So. I'm still feeling optimistic that we could probably see the likes of MK Ultra and Sweet Dreams turning into pretty interesting looking weapon only collections, but I have to play it, you know, smart. Will an MP5 hold up quite nicely looking at the past? Well, <laughs> it ain't looking very pretty. Recently we had the likes of the Ditto MP5, it went down to just barely over a dollar. Tiger Stripes just barely over a dollar, but this is bright and colourful and pretty interesting. Maybe we could offer a little bit more. I think I'll do 80 cents to one dollar twenty. That would be my suggestion. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think it'll be fine. And very, very brightly coloured that you can basically see it reasonably perfectly fine at night time. I'm not joking. Consider watching my Rustle Rotation video from last week and you'll see when I show it all off in game. And, well, yeah, get a good look at that. Right then, so we've basically gone through all of that. What could we expect for tomorrow? Will it be an early Rustle Rotation tomorrow? Well, we were expecting that to happen last week and it didn't happen, did it? To my surprise, normally with the likes of a force wipe, you would see an early rust rotation, but no, it happened at like nine o'clock in the evening UK time. I would I would expect the same thing for tomorrow. I would expect around a nine o'clock evening rust rotation. At the very least, I'll offer to you to come visit my stream tomorrow. Uh, look in the description to look at all my socials. Basically, um, we're going to have our fun little rust rotation stream where we have a nice little base set up on a special server and we're going to go make some sacrifices to help. Yay! <laughs> if you turn up tomorrow, you'll see and you'll understand. So anyway, with that, I'm looking at all of these skins and I'm looking at the likes of my recent Rust Workshop skin checks. There was plenty of very interesting collection continuations. More specifically, as I scroll down over to here, you might notice the return of the likes of Cold Hunter collection, both of those competing with each other for a Thompson. <laughs> uh, high Quality Metal returned. Diaz is trying to juggle both his High Quality Metal collection, 
his Nocturnal collection and his sweet uh, his uh, Neon Vibes collection. Madman, but it is what it is. Damascus is trying to make a return. Colander Booney hat was really, really funny. <laughs> I liked it. I thought that would be amazing, but either way, get a good look at all of these. Clothing and armor skins. Here's a weird thing. Gold Chain's poncho with a second version. Say Chains and uh, Demon are trying to get another poncho accepted. I know, it's a bit odd, isn't it? But hey, maybe it might work. We'll see. And uh, yeah, we do have the likes of flashbacks, road sign gloves and boots. Well, regardless, I mean, that will still help out the likes of the hoodie and the pants. And you might notice he's also wearing tier two there. So maybe that's uh, implying something for the future. But we're still hopeful for the tier three, right? <laughs> I think we're past that, I'm afraid. So who knows? We shall see some green boots and gloves. We'll definitely like that, won't we, chat? Oh, yeah, we'll definitely like that. What do you mean? <laughs> uh, the other green uh, road sign gloves and pants that exist, uh, uh, boots, I mean. Happen to be uh, pretty expensive. <laughs> so I think people would appreciate something like that, I'm sure. And then we can also point out Overheat is in a pretty interesting spot. Uh, as you might know, we already have the hoodie and pants accepted with the boots and gloves. But recently, Johnny Oldboy has submitted both Tier 2 and Tier 3. So either one, it don't matter. Overheat's looking pretty sweet at the moment. If we get either of them accepted tomorrow, ooh, we're going to Flavor Town. Yes, indeed. So who knows? Who knows? And of course, I'm sure many of you are well aware we have the uh, TGG's top picks. Hopping over to here. Here we go. There's his top 10 list right there. Looking very nice and very cool. Maybe we'll see Forest Shroud Double Door being accepted tomorrow because that looked really cool. That is an awesome looking Double Door skin. And as I said, I don't, I'm not surprised if we see another Double Door appearing. I'm worried. <laughs> I really am. But yeah, we looked at all of these skins last week. My other Rust Workshop skin checks the previous week. And uh, who knows what might potentially be accepted out of all of that. But in terms of the clothing and the armor, where is it? I've already passed it. I'm an idiot. Well, I mean, you should know that by now. Uh, are we going to turn into a tiger? Are we going to turn into a fish? Are we going to see overheat? Who knows, who knows, who knows, who knows. Right then. So, I think we're all basically wrapped up and ready for the actual abnormals appearing now. So what we're going to do is we're going to skip ahead and we're going to go do those barders right now. So with that. Right, here we go. We're, yeah. There. Yeah. <laughs> You're right there. No. <laughs> Words. Blah. Come on, Steam, work for me. La -da 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 -da. I bet the meds is out. No, it's not. Really now? Come on, there you go. All right, we'll do you then. Here we are. That's quite a lot of people already. That's fine. I don't think it's going to be absolutely fantastic, but we'll see. I don't want to buy 509 of them. No, oh, thank you. Right. Uh, red sign kilt. Right. Mm, thinking, thinking. Lots of thinking. Okay. Hooray, hooray. I did a buy order today. La -da 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 -da. La -da 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 Hooray, hooray, I did a buy order today. Come on, show your faces, I want to buy order you. Right. Is that it? No more? No more, it looks like. Alright, what we'll do is we'll skip ahead now and we'll start discussing the abnormal bar to support. So with that. Right, we're back. It's just about 15 minutes, so let's go ahead and take a look at all of that abnormal bar to support. So, we're looking at the tempered sheet middle double door right here. Is it looking quite appealing? I'll be honest with you. Mm, yeah, no, it looks okay. Like, again, I'm standing by the point of wouldn't be surprised if we see some more sheet middle double doors being accepted at some point in the future. We'll not rule that out, but that is looking pretty solid. You've got two solid barders there of 100 quantity each, sitting at just about $2.50 and almost two sixty. So, I mean, if that looks appealing to you, maybe you might want to jump in and consider buying a few. But don't be surprised if they do end up going below the Rustle price at some point. But hey, that could be as little as probably going down to about $2.80. And how's it going to look like even later this year? What about next summer? You know, next year? Would it go up even higher, potentially? We'll see. But this has literally only just become marketable. So you do probably have maybe another 20 hours. Uh, well, if you're watching this, uh, you've probably got 12 hours or so. Uh, but yeah, looking at that, um, 
I think I'm going to take a step away. I've seen far too many interesting looking sheep with the double doors where I'm just thinking, yeah, face punch is going to probably accept it, uh, at least one of them. And more doors equals more things to choose from. It ain't looking pretty. <laughs> well, the skins do. That's why they keep getting accepted. So, at the end of the day, if you were just, look, if you had to buy something, this is definitely looking perfectly fine to consider. Will this ever go back up to its, uh, will ever go up into the positive again in the future after it potentially goes down in price? Yeah. Look at all the other temp uh, tempered uh, deplorables we've had. They've dipped down in price and then they recovered. So, yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. Right then, so, hopping over to here, we have the likes of the Chameleon Road Sign Kill. I'm looking at all the skins in order of what I did my Bardas in. This is currently in the rust off for $1.99 right now. And well, there you go. It's got Bardas pushing all the way up to $1.40 and then a few more pushing up to about $1.70. Now, I don't believe that $1.70 will be there forever. I'm pretty sure he will be picking these up at that price. I do believe at some point this likely will probably go and go down below its rustle price. But again, that could probably be as little as maybe someone listing there, so like $1.95. So if the collection remains fairly in demand, the prices are expected to do fine. Maybe this does a pretty decent job retaining its value. Based on the amount it sold, in comparison to the rest of the clothing and armor skins, I mean, it's perfectly smack dab in the middle. So, as I said, so as long as it remains fairly in demand, it'll be okay. But if that doesn't sound good enough to you, well, I hope you did a lower price buy order. I don't know how low it'll go, but I do think it's going to end up at around $1.50 at some point. Maybe a little bit higher, we shall see. But yeah, that's it. You know, that is technically the final core piece for the Chameleon Collection. All we really have next is either those boots or a potential jacket, maybe a whole bunch more weapons. Maybe we'll start seeing deplorables. It's in Mujofrito's hand. But, um... At the moment, he keeps wanting to make cat doors, so <laughs> we'll see. But it does look okay. I'd still sit here and say, if you wanted to buy these for a cheaper price, just put down like a $1.75 buy order. I will not be surprised in the slightest if you pick these up at that price at some point in the future. So moving on, here we have the Neon Small Med Storage. Guys, it's only been 18 minutes, not even 20 minutes, right? We already have 162 listings. There is already a 70 stack, a 14 stack, and 11 stack. By tomorrow, when you're watching this video, go look at it right now. Like, go look at it right now during your time. Go look and see what the difference is. I don't know how many listings are going to appear within, like, the next 12 hours, but I certainly am worried. But the fact that we immediately got 162 literally within, like, 15, 20 minutes, it's absolutely ridiculous. If you thought food storage was looking bad, I am concerned for this. <laughs> but listen, do not be surprised in the slightest when we see this in the rust store tomorrow, right? Don't be surprised, okay? So, yeah, we'll probably see more, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see a lot more of them being bought as well. You know, momentum's looking very strong for this collection so far, but a lot of people just instantly assume it's going to be an easy, quick flip profit, but... I'm questioning things already. It's already going below $1.80. Oh, dear. <laughs> so just to give you some context, if you bought something for $1.49 and then you try to sell it on Steam for $1.49, the tax added would go up to $1.70. We're already at $1.78. People aren't making much profit out of these, are they? No. <laughs> All right, then, so... If you're thinking, ah, maybe I could probably buy all of these, yeah, that was the whole idea. Um... In the future, will this end up going all the way down to a dollar? Potentially less? We'll see. Will all of these builders actually stick around? Or will people get scared and remove them? Time will tell. Um, got to keep an eye on it, haven't we? October. October 2024. At some point in October, we will reach a low point. And that's where you should look at all of them and make a decision if you're not jumping and buy them then. Sounds good? Okay. So that's what I'll be doing. Looking at the likes of this chameleon coffee can helmet and the vest, they're very similar. Very similar builders in total. Yeah, it's kind of close to the likes of the kilt, just not as much. It looks cool. It looks fine. It just doesn't look as if it doesn't look as if it's always going to be super okay. Like, will this ever dip below its rust or price? Wouldn't be surprised. But the difference in sales, I also had to bring that up. This did almost a thousand less sales compared to the kilt. If these were the lowest selling skins, these could actually have turned out to be very nice investments, but the clothing, the hoodie and the pants sold less, so I don't really think the coffee can and the vest are going to be going up in price that much. But 
so as long as the collection remains fairly in demand, they could still work out nicely. But I'm reminded of that comment about the jack-o'-lantern face. Why did you say that? <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. If you were to sit here and say, oh, should I buy them then? Um, you could probably just stick down, stick with doing like a $1.50, $1.70 ish buy order. You'll probably pick these up for a cheaper price. Wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised. All right, then we've got the Watcher of Doom large box, and your buy order's already gone up to $1.20. This is a $2.49 skin. That is not retaining its value. You could just put down a $1.50 buy order, and I will not be surprised in the slightest if you bought them for that price. Save a dollar. So look at it, consider it, it's up to you, but I'm not buying them, okay? In terms of wanting to make a nice potential uh, financial investment, nah, I'll just rather do with a barter. D do with a ba do a barter. The Ice Eye Pickaxe and Hatchet, well, their barters basically stop at around a dollar, slightly above. I mean, uh, it's fine. Like, that definitely doesn't look like it's going to end up between 60 to 80 cents, which is okay. There's nothing really wrong with that. But, yeah, whilst it might do better compared to other tools, it's still looking like it's going below its rust or price. So... Yeah, I mean, we kind of expected that. Hopefully we do see some more very interesting ISI skins being produced, and I kind of would expect it, so keep an eye out, keep an eye on a workshop, you get the idea. And here we have the Junkanaut door. This is the uh, newest transparent glow-in-the-dark sheet in the door, but uh, based on what I've seen with all the other sheet in the doors that have been out recently, they have not done a very good job retaining their value. In fact, out of all the sheet in the doors this year, not a single one's in the positive. Even the Shadow Ball one's gone down in price. But there's one little thing I've noticed here. Do you notice how all the listings as of now are only sitting at around $5? Ooh, interesting. Is it going to be one of those skins where it hasn't really sold that much and everyone who tries to sell it just keeps it up a certain point? We have seen skins like that in the past that have behaved that way. Maybe it'll end up being like that. Maybe it ends up selling at around $3 because, of course, no one wants to list theirs below $3. Keep an eye on this. We'll see. But based on what I see with the barter support, that is less than its halfway point. So, I mean, yeah, if you really wanted to buy some, just put down a $1.50 barter, save yourself a $1.50. You'll be, yeah, I'm pretty sure you'll be happy with that. And hey, in the future, maybe it does go back up to its rust or price again. You could sell them, sell them for uh, double the profit. Double the price. Profit. No, no, no. You get the idea. Anyway. Hedge. You're yapping too quickly and your brain doesn't fully process what you're even saying half the time now. Well, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, so uh, I hope you've been getting your Bellum drops. Get a good look at all of them. Yep. Um, I think Rivers is actually playing right now. Yeah, okay, she hasn't been playing that much. i got to go get that. <laughs> That's one of the skins I'm missing. Okay, I can sort that out. But this is going on until next Monday, I believe. So you've got the weekend to enjoy. Get them. They're still out. They're still for free. And who knows what's going to be accepted with tomorrow's roster. As I said, go give the uh, top picks list a good look. Maybe we'll still get some very random extra, extra late picks. Maybe we'll actually get some interesting continuations for collections. Maybe we'll see something a lot more newer, you know? Maybe we'll potentially actually see a continuation for the likes of flashbacks. I mean, even boots and gloves would still be okay, but overheat's in a very interesting spot. Maybe something new will be accepted. <laughs> I've got to give a shout out to that cockroach collection. It actually looks really cool. I think I put a short video out earlier where I kind of show it off. So, yeah, we'll see how that turns out. It does look quite cool. <laughs> right, then that's it. Yeah, seems like we're all done. What's that front page looking like? A lot of whiteout, not surprising. All of those whiteout skins reaching to new all-time high prices. And potentially this Saturday, I will be uploading a video talking about whether you want to sell your skins because you're probably thinking uh, is now a good time to sell your skins yes but maybe you might want to hold on to them for a little bit longer why well all will be revealed so keep an eye out for that video and if you want to be fully aware of all the newest skins and skin continuations collection continuations please consider watching my rust workshop skin checks we have all the collection continuations chaptered out like that so if you just if you notice like a oh the mk ultra and sweet dreams thompson i want to take a look at that just click that and away you go there you go head starts yapping and he starts yapping and you don't stop yapping so <laughs> here you go it's all in front of you so once again thank you very much for watching me today i greatly appreciate it let's look forward to seeing what gets accepted tomorrow or not i am streaming tomorrow hopefully before the rust rotation happens uh, look in the description you'll see the links to all my socials come and visit me on my twitch stream and feel free to jump in and take part we're going to be sacrificing people for better rust stores hopefully it works otherwise what was it all for